I'm showing you a combination of an H and a V lookup done a little differently because you're trying to combine. What I'm trying to say is on Tuesday over here, we got 34. We're going to be using data validation where it's a combination of an H lookup and a V lookup. You're using this thing called indirect. I'm going to go into a sheet where we're going to be doing this. First thing, we need to name the ranges. To do that, highlight this whole data table. Control, Shift, F3. Tap it all simultaneously in that order. Control, Shift, F3. The range names are in the top row and the left column. We say OK. We click in here. It shows the range names. It has an underscore for tax law. You're going to see a situation in a few minutes. I want to put in the information. You could type it in. The easy way to find it, we go to the data tab. We click in the cell. We want to do this data validation list. And then we highlight the range. And for the subject or topic data, data validation. list source highlight you got these drop down arrows here so I could say Wednesday I want to know what's going on with budgets we want to use the indirect okay I have the formula here what it is you're saying in this cell equal indirect with the cell these two things here I'm gonna go into the second half of this with substitute in a minute oops if I go over here it's got it there. What I'm just going to do is cut it and paste it. So it's saying equal indirect B10. It's saying Wednesday and budgets 32. However, watch this. We go into here. Tax law. You got to use substitute. So, what it is first, when you're doing the formula here, you got to have a space between the two indirects. Okay. Now, if we look over here, do you see how it says into substitute? In parentheses, you're saying B11. You're going to replace, replace space with an underscore. Now it's working. You've got four people. It's pretty easy to do. I would strongly suggest using this one here. I'll make it red, bold, make it stand out for a second. Pull it down. So you could see it. You could have the substitute after that. That way, if you say twin trees, three oaks, 
five maples because you're dealing with cities or whatever. That way it will always work. So this is the final product with all the range names working properly.